so. The volume is very loud on this game for me. Um, which is unfortunate. So, let's see what this is. I've owned this game for a while and have wanted to play it for a while and have it. So here we are. St. Pidgeo Nations Institute. Alright, um... Oh. I need a name. Because it could just be me. Not me, but... Yeah. I'll go... I don't have any bird puns in mind, so... Oh. Um, now I need it. I want an interesting last name. Suggestions welcome. I know there are a couple of people who like puns in chat. Hmm. Let's see. Birds. I don't know a lot about birds. Birds and dinosaurs? Or rather, the reverse. I might end up just being very boring. Ah! Excellent. Thank you. That is okay. Huh. It includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits. Oh boy. I feel like I should say no. We gotta look at birds. Configuration saved. Saint Pigeon Nation, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say the school is known for one thing in particular. School is Japan. Snow, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. I don't know if they will only look like humans at first. We'll see. I might end up changing that configuration depending on how things shake out. Birds who want to study the arts, sciences, and even sports all come to St. Pigeon Nations. Teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I, ch why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a whole ass bird. Uh, Ryuta? Oh boy. I am not going to be great at these names, so bear with me. Usually you'd have been ready for an hour. Uh, usually you'd have been ready by, for an hour by now, Melissa. Overslept? It's a bird. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Oh my god. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. <laughs> Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. G. 
jeepers. <laughs> no good being late on the first day. This is adorable. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Oh no. Oh no. Might I run off with the first bird I see? First term. Most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. <laughs> Come on. It's, it's the fact that it's, like, a live picture and not drawn art. I think that is really the thing. Uh, good morning, every birdie. Er, I'm Nanaki Kaz Kazaki. I seem I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics, and also some other things. <laughs> oh no, sir! Wake up! It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open. This quail is Nanaki Kazo Kazaki. He's a famously super <laughs> superific math professor. But, but self to sleep? I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms, including sleepy ones. Ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it just a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please, introduce yourself, Shirogane. What's the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here just because I wish to be. Oh god. Oh well, I guess that's that. Hey, hey, hey. That's no good. Pronounce every vowel character, except that... OU is just a long O. So, Kazuaki? Okay. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Oh my god. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogain? Oh, Shirogane, I guess. Shirogane la belle sequoia. Oh my god. It seems this fan tail, the Shirogane sequoia, his feathers would make any, any birdie, any birdie. Oh god. Oh my god. I signed up for the punniest game. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. I am overly optimistic in this game. Sukuya so sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. Thank you for this pronunciation guide, Greg. I think this little bird is telling me... I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everybody? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Why are there outlines around the birds? I mean, contrast, obviously, but also, it's ridiculous. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? 
he looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him I, who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? Oh. He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Aviary Melissa. Cute. Uh, a sophomore. What about you? Your... Nageki. Fujishiro. Nageki. Oh god. Freshman. Are they shy? Hopefully just shy. Fujishiro Nageki. Huh. Maybe it's just because he's a morning dove, but he seems a little sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I'm very curious what this count is in the upper left. Is that a date? Or is that... It's not the number of birds I've met. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Oh, oh no. You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother, after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. <laughs> Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. Yikes. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... I guess even if we're in the same school now... I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sakazaki, Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakuya's brother. I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. Ooh. You've heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Saka Sakuya's? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Ha! No sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. Do you? I guess you try. <laughs> it's official. <laughs> This fantail pigeon is Saka Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Every birdie knows of him. I will not be used to that by the end of this game. I just, I just can't with every birdie and any birdie. You're Melissa, right? How did you... I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Alright, dude. You're too much. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic instruction this introduction this morning. We're in the same class. That's all. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain. So good luck, mon ami. Adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about you yet, though. Probably a twisty business. <laughs> Thanks, creator gate. Great. Creator crate. I'm... A game of narration. Have a good one! <laughs> uh, so that's all for today. Stay safe, everyone! Yay! Huh? 
Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Uh, let's look at these jars for a second over here. Uh, yeah, my mouse is visible. That, that doesn't look like a thing that should be in schools. Or, is it C10, H15N? I don't know what that is. Uh, so, excuse me. Nobody's here. I hope y'all know I die a little inside with every birdie pun. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. This isn't a chemistry lab, Lucy. This is the infirmary. Does she have, I guess, some medicines or sort of... I don't know. You don't give... Oh, no. Every pony? What game... Oh, or is this, like, the, um... I'm blanking on it. The cartoon that everyone loves. Uh, Ryota. No reply. You, I, I am. I, I am a little inert to them, but like, it's a lot. I prefer fresh ones, I guess, to a mundane use of them. My Little Pony, that's what I was thinking of. Weird. Did he go home already? I felt a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Also, I'm not a bird. Whoa. See, the game lost me because they misspelled whoa. Uh, whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Uh, do 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 A whole bunch of things? What do these even do? Oh no. Care to find out? Oh god. Doctor? I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? No thank you. I'm kidding about woe, Lucy. I... I don't argue that point anymore. <laughs> This partridge is, oh god, Iwamima? Iwamima Shu? The school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. You do look creepy. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with uh, a few diseases or even worse things. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be here. Did you need something? Iwamine. Okay. Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's has already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. Why the track team? That sounds like too much work. Go learn about bird watching. I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Coo, coo. This is no pudding for a man? Oh, okay. Okasan rejects it. It is a lie. A vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. 
Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. Okosan. This is Okosan. He doesn't really look it. But supposedly he's a fantail pigeon. I think the pudding is probably a lie. Either way, he's hyper. Okasan has suffered a, decep a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Okasan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. I like this guy. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Spare the jests, young lady. Okasan used wing attack? Super effective. They'll rue the day they crossed Okasan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. <laughs> I would... It's a good play to have as a favorite. Okasan is now trained to achieve true pudding. Farewell. And he's gone. Hyper's an interesting description. Uh, he's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nation. Aha! Sweet baby goddess. I hope y'all don't object overly. I literally cannot lower my volume more. Might as well save. Alright. Er, I think we want to choose the class council today. So that is a date in the upper left. Uh, as you all know, the school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can, but if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Okasan has time only for track team. That's good. <laughs> what about you, Shirogane? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Greg, you're the worst. <laughs> oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism. Ho, oh, don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Do I get to pick? Yay. Join the... Hmm. Student council, track team, or library staff. So, the morning dove, morning whatever the sad bird was, uh, was a little... Oh, you're right. I sh Well, I did save just before this. So, I'm good if I need to come back. Uh, library, but... Okay, so the track team, Okosan, pretty cool. Student Council's the f douchebag. The library libraries are cool in general, but the sad bird's real sad. Ah, uh, I'm torn. Alright, I'll go for library. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. We'll go track team. Pudding. Hyper birds. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. Oh, I have stats? I have stats? I'm not very wise. But I am vital. <laughs> Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend? Oh. Let's go to music class. Oh. Hmm. Well, I will move that or hide that. Let 
me do that. And y'all will just be without my face. But you can see my stats. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so yes. Very vital. Not very wise. Uh, let's do music class. I have five chas. Cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. We sang birdie melodies. It was a little tiring, but singing together is fun. Okay. Melissa leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Did it? Not visibly. I need to go sign up for track. I want to join the team, but I wonder if Okasan is having a fit again. I'll find out when I get there. <laughs> a Melissa appears. Is this a challenge then? <laughs> Choose your weapon, ma'am, and draw. A fit he is having, though not over pudding. Not really. I want to join the team. Do you know where that captain is? You know who the captain is. He stands before you. Okasan is the captain, and a faster bird the world has never known. I never knew. Oh, well, here. My forms. Thank you. A dub never refuses a challenge. Commence the entrance examination. There's an exam? Of course. Track isn't daisy chain making, missy. Okosan will be your opponent in noble combat. Sprint or long distance? Um. I think I'm gonna say sprint. Hmph. A sprint barely lasts long enough to get started. How dull. On your mark, get set, go. How is he so fast? He can't even fly this fast. <laughs> I love it that they're on their own, that they're on their feet. You're still weak, but you've got potential. Welcome to the team. Thanks. That's all, folks. And so I joined the track team. Who knew doves could run like that? Ah, sitting at home is so relaxing. Where the hell do I live? What the hell? Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. I could go for some udon and a nap. Uh, today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... to press enter twice on that. That's weird. Um, guess I should talk to... Who's the... Osakuya, the... The fantail? Looking for the library bird. I don't know that they're... Maybe it's... Hmm. Do y'all remember which one is the library bird? Oh, okay, so library bird's not here. So he's student council. Um, I'll chat with my friend. Rayuta, let's eat together. Sure. Great view, huh? The picture, though. Also, the fact that it's... It's too high... Too low res for this view? It's just the best. Is that your lunch, Melissa? Yep. It's a calorie... It's a pretty sad thing to bring on a picnic. No, it's not. A great man once said it's the ambrosia of the gods. Jeez, if you eat like that, you'll be dead on the roadside by the time we head back. Here, I'll share mine. Really? Wow, thanks, Ryota. We should talk about 
women and food in popular media. And so I got to eat half of Ryota's lunch. His cooking is so good. What are they eating? Oh, it's calorie mate, maybe? Are they avoiding a... a actual name in there? Um, we can save it in case of a survival situation. Birds are very critical. Okay. Today's an elective day. What should I do? So... I feel like... My wisdom ain't great. Let's do some math. I'm not getting this at all. That's because my wisdom is shit. Hmm, maybe you should review the basics a little more, aviary. Yes, sir. Melissa, level up. Wisdom increased by five. I imagine you're all well aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Oof. <laughs> Taking a calorie down on a day is like bringing an insurer. That's rough. Maybe our next future proof play should be number munchers. Sports festival season already? That would actually be highly entertaining to to play a game like Number Munchers on stream. Uh, if it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival, so it's always been in May. What are you going to do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. I can't. Okasan will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. You do have a lot of stamina, Oko-san. What about you, Sakuya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It's a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about being a cheerleader? The general, in other words. Very well. Leave it to me. That is also unclear, Greg, to me. Like, like just the... If this were portraits, right, then you're losing all sense of scale. Yeah, I have no idea. The desks seem to be human-sized, but that doesn't necessarily mean the birds are. Um, I don't think that's... Let's see. Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if any birdie still can't decide. That's all for today. Ryota's doing the three-leg race, Okasan's running the marathon, and Sakuya's a cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Today's the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? It's rude to decide on the day of. Hmm. <laughs> Library, just avoid the whole ass thing. Hmm. You know, maybe I will do. <clears throat> maybe I'll join the cheerleaders. There's something of a crowd around our cheerleaders. I see Sequoia and a brass band. That's overdoing it. I think I saw something similar during the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. You're here. You're not cutting any corners, I see. Naturally not. Only the best from a LaBelle. Sir, preparations are complete, sir. Your order, sir. From Horn and Tuba. Very well. Begin. And so the, the band began to play. Where did he get these people? They all look like professionals. Shouldn't cheerleaders be students? You, join in. Um, okay. I seem to be in charge of the symbols. 
one wrong slip and I'll be the laughing stock of the playground. Yikes. Sequoia's conducting is awfully flashy. Is this the LaBelle style? I mean, obviously. The first barrier for all students who make it this far. The midterm exam. Okay, so let's pause here for a second. I need to go get more water. Um, so I will be back in like 30 seconds. Yes, let us ponder the fruitlessness of testing. Uh, we're getting them back today. Oh, the fruitlessness has already happened. Well, the planting of the thing and now the lack of fruit. I don't know. Uh, aviary. Yes. Hmm. I don't think you did too badly. Are you just like shouting my grades out? <laughs> Not to... Hmm. Nope. Sorry. You did badly. No. Try harder next time, okay? I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. Oh. Interesting. Pigeonful, heartful, or hurtful. Hmm. Damn you, Greg, now that you have pointed out how short this loop is on the background music. <laughs> uh, with the festival in the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? They're protesting for labor rights. Oh, there's Yuya. That could be the theme of today. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, Melissa. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. For what? Gestures that are news clipping on the staff room pin board. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. This is weird. Brian... Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... Oh my god. He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. So that is a very pretty bird. He's, he's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called Pidgeo Olympics. Pidgeo Olympics? Maybe Pidgeo Olympics. Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, Monami? Try googling Brian Pigeon. I'm not going to do so. Okay. I mean, if they are expecting me to do so out of the game. Okay. Uh-oh. Lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Melissa. There must be... Not now I am curious what's what their search results are for Brian Pigeon. Hmm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... store, infirmary, cafeteria. Hmm. Not the infirmary. Let's go to the cafeteria. Nice. Is this 
is this a shtick that Brian Pigeon has been doing for a while? Like, is this, is this a pre-existing person who's been blogging using their last name as a thing? Or is this from the game developers? Uh, I think I'll eat at the cafeteria today. Excuse me, one half dead fried rice, please. Oh my god. Okay, not from the devs. Yum, my favorite. No, this is wrong. A fake, a vicious lie. A familiar voice indeed. This is not pudding. I know, you said. So come on, let's eat outside. We can't horse around in here. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. San saw the pudding here and went nuts. I stopped him from going on a rampage, but... Ow, cut it out, Okasan. Release me at once. My rage voltage is rising. Help me, Melissa. <laughs> um... Leave it to me. Let him go. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Oh, no. Uh, Rota. <laughs> My hunter-gatherer blood boils. Ah! No, the Beast Queen shows her true colors. Pull out! Pull out! <laughs> Okasan rushes from the cafeteria like a rabbit from a catapult. Ah, safe at last. Thanks, Melissa. No problem. All I did was shatter him anyway. Apparently, that was enough. Now we can eat lunch without fear of disaster. Today is an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Well, I do feel like I should work on that wisdom still. I always find myself wondering what the math we learn is good for. <laughs> Someone is asleep. Snoring. And now we can... <laughs> now we can draw a line perpendicular to the... Is this math class or nap time? Melissa leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. I knew you were going to say that, Lucy. <laughs> Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know. May mother stay healthy this year. And may my stomach get better. Aw. Impossible. Impossible isn't French? French isn't impossible? Alright. What should I wish for? Conquer the world by force. Rule the world from the shadows. Or become a famous artist. What the fuck? <laughs> I feel like we have taken a huge step forward in character development for Melissa Eviary over here. Um... I'm gonna rule the world from the shadows. I wish to take the reins of power through clever schemes and rule the world from the shadows. Not with that wisdom. Oh, hello. Is that you, Aviary? Mr. Nanaki. You should be careful out this late. It could be dangerous for a girl, you know. Ruling the world from the shadows. Fuck off. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um... No, thank you? Is the teacher a romantic option? I feel like I should say yes, just to like... Oh, nothing possible for the French. Okay. Thank you. Alright. 
Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. Thanks, Dad. Your house is very rustic. That's what I've been wondering. Especially, look at the spoon in this lower right corner. Like, I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sir? See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so he left. A somewhat hollow-sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Hmm. My wisdom is... They told me it increased by 5, but that would have been 11. I think. No, everything got bumped. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Well, if given the option... My grades aren't awful. I will go run around outside. A rock dove is wiggling about on the surface of the water, advancing neither forwards nor backwards. Uh. You can't swim, Ryota? I'm doing my best. I'm going to learn before I graduate. Melissa leveled up. Vitality increased by five. We got our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Aviary. Uh, no spoilers, but apparently each ending gives world building info, and once you get the endings for a certain five characters, it unlocks a very different playthrough. Oh no. Okay. I think we're only gonna I think I'm only gonna play one ending today. And then we'll see how I like it after that. That's interesting. Sir. Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success. A very different playthrough. So, that's compelling. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed long, sometimes it seemed short, but either way, it's summer now. I should have clean up the club room and check the summer schedule before I go home. To the track club. It's an interestingly scheduled semester. Started in April? Runs through July? Munch, munch, munch. Okasan looks excited. Not angry for once, but still, this is... Ah, what are you doing? The floor is covered in beans. Munch, munch. They're good. Looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balance supplements and eating them all at once, and is eating them all at once. He certainly seems happy about it. What should I do? So before I make any choice, look at this paper back here. That might legitimately just be a bunch of humps and ms. Uh, definitely joining in. Those look pretty good. Yum. And so we devoured two months worth of dietary supplements in one day. What the fuck? It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life. So maybe I'll go running today. What kind of world is this? Ooh. Uh-oh. Huh. Ah, that was a good run. That was an enlightening run. A true running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? Look, you aren't done with your run if you haven't gotten back to some place you know. Like that's how run that's how runs for exercise work. Is you go out and then you come back. Uh, I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, Paleolithic homing instinct. The sun setting. 
I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you. Um? Oh, God. I don't know you. Where'd you come from? A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. Looks a bit vintage. How cute. I feel a strange pressure. I could tell right away that this sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pigeon Nation. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Ah, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm. I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Thank you. Um, may I ask your name? Koshiba Azami. I sell takoyaki. Call me Azami. Then thank you, Azami. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. <laughs> One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both of our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. There's a far-off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. <laughs> the speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Isn't riding tandem against the law too? That rule is for humans. Birdies, birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. And so we putted along at Azami's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Oh my god. Never run that direction again. It's still a long time until the semester starts. And I still have a lot of homework. How do you have homework? During summer break other than a reading list. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance. I'll get a job or forget it. Get a job. I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. But summer homework for what class? Like, you don't know what you're gonna take necessarily. It was the cafe, right? It's beautiful in here. Oh my. Oh, that's a bird. Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. If you could come back at noon. Oh, sorry, I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to, <laughs> when they refer to a mature attractiveness. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified, oh, the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I am called Uroshihara Kenzaburo. I am the owner of Torimi Cafe. I'm Aviary Melissa. Welcome, Miss Melissa. I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you going to interview me? I, I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you will be much more capable than, capable than I of moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. What kind of world is this? Like, tell me what kind of world this is. Like, the crashed building, the fact that birds are transferring things in boxes, Oh, so summer break is not, there's not actually a change of classes like there would be summer break in U.S. schools. It's, you're just 
taking a break in the middle of the same classes. Okay. <laughs> After all, I am a vitality girl. I kind of am. Uh, I shall be relying on you for the summer then, Miss Melissa. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course. I'm glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. I must know about this world. This <laughs> The game apparently does explain how this world came to be. Okay, cool. Today's my first day working at Mr. Urushi Urushihara's cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. I hope they explain the spoon. Good morning, Miss Melissa. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. He shows me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small, and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Come now. It's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my how... <laughs> Excuse me! Um, I saw the flyer at the station, and... Ryota? Melissa? What are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Melissa? Oh yes, this is Ryota. You came for the job too, Ryota? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. But if you've already got the position, then that's that. Um, Mr. Urshihara, could you use two people? Hmm. Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should... Hmm. So we know that Ryota's supporting his mom. I feel like I should give him the job. Seems like the nice thing to do. I mean, I clearly don't have rent, so... Mr. Mr. Urushihara, do you think you could take Ryota instead of me? Melissa? I don't see why not, but... I don't really need the job, but Ryota does. Don't worry, he's a hard worker. Are you sure, Melissa? It's not really fair to you. I do feel a little bad leaving on my first day, too, but... We have to work several jobs every summer to support his mother. Mr. Urushihara is a real gentle bird, and Ryota deserves to be treated nicely. This is for the best. See, gentle bird I don't have a problem with. I think that's a good term. But every birdie and any birdie I could do without. I know you'll do a good job. I thanks, Melissa. Well, then... Our encounter has been as transient as a comet's tail on the horizon, but I am glad I met you. Please do stop by. I will always be here, Miss Melissa. I will. Thank you, Mr. Uru... Oh, God, I will get this. Uroshihara. Today is the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. See? Here we are. There it is. All right, invite options. Um, we'll go. Uh, I'll invite Nageki. He needs to get out more, but I don't know his address or phone number. I'll go look. In, I'd go look in the library for him if the school weren't already closed. Now that I think about it. I only know him as the depressed freshman who's always in the library. I'd like to learn more about him. He'd probably never tell me anything if I asked. It's probably true. Ah, uh, going out is too much trouble. Oh, shit. Wow. I think I'll have some udon and go to bed. Wow. Wrong pick. Ah, I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, alright? I'm gonna be late. Oh, hello, Aviary. 
Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I overslept. Overslept? Ah, my homework, I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Aviary? Huh? What's the number in the top left-hand corner say? Oh. It's a little bit early. Wow. Though, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exams, and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library... I want to... Hmm... Hmm... Two of these things support the institution of bad tests. The third one is a lie. I think I'm gonna go see the sad bird. The library should open now. Should be open now. I think I'll go study. Um, sorry, sir, but I'm not sure I'm I've prepared enough for my tests. I like to go study if it's alright. Of course, work hard, okay? There are already a number of students working in the library. Looks like mostly third years? They've probably all decided on their colleges and careers already. Will I be that frantic this time next year? Nageki is here too, leaning against a bookshelf in a far corner. Nageki! Miss Aviary, do you need something? Why are you over here? There's still plenty of seats open. You should sit down. I don't mind standing. You look like you mind. You don't like being near other birds, is that it? He nods. They'll just... They'll just ignore me anyway, whether or not I go near. Nageki, are you being... Bullied or paranoid? I'd say bullied. He falls silent. If there's something wrong, I'd like to help. Um, good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Okasan is always having fun. Yep, yep. What is this fun? Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Uh, focus, sir. Focus. The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. Second term. Ha, huh, is that a student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2 2? Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might have already gone home, though. Well, any teacher will do, right? Sir. <laughs> Snore. Sir! Oh. Hello, Melissa. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It's from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh, thank you, Melissa. I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing, just... You did find this today, right, Aviary? Yes, in the corridor just outside. The student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. So then, was the card lying there on all summer? Nobody noticed it? It's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Aviary. Today is an elective day. What should I do? Hmm. Let's go music class again. Oh no, I forgot my recorder. That's no loss, honestly, to be fair. I don't think we have any spares. I do have my hichiriki, at least. You can play that? Melissa leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Today's the school festival. 
Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. A maid cafe. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll look around. Where to go? Where to go? Let's see. Oh my god. Uh, Melissa, wait. <laughs> What's up, Ryota? Are you free right now? We've got way more customers than we expected, and we could really use another waitress. You're right. Where are they all coming from? Leave it to me, Ryota. I'll give them a taste of my super maid technique. How is this world? Alright. And so I never even... so And so I never ended up looking around the festival. Only maids now. What is this world? This is so weird. I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the staff room? How do you hand in... Excuse me... Huh? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Oh no, I don't have the pronunciation guide. Iwamina? I hmm. And the doctor. I hadn't expected to see them together. And you see nothing peculiar about these numbers? Nothing at all. There's a statistical deviation visible in the data on students from the past few years. I'd hope to get some insight from you, but... It would seem I have overestimated you. Really? Sorry, I couldn't help then. I'll... Bro, bro. Uh, hmm. I... The doctor seems... not good. But I am interested in what the statistical deviations are. Uh... You know what? I'll go... I'll go evil. You should look more closely, Mr. Nanaki. Hello, aviary. Even the students disrespect you? Pathetic. Aw, oh, shit. Well, I picked the wrong thing. Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. So you did. Here you go. Here's the workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teachers, like pupil. Well. Should have gone with my ethical gut. Uh, so I'm gonna take another short break. Um, get more coffee, more water. I'll probably be, let's say, a five minute break, and then we will get back to, uh, to track day. <laughs>
Alright. I am back. Um... The stats are not particularly interesting, so I put the webcam back up. Alright. So, uh, at the track, why is the doctor here? You didn't know? I'm in charge of nutrition for all the athletic clubs. Your advisor asked me to bring some steroids today, but... <laughs> Okasan has no need for those. Bring Okasan pudding, or bring nothing at all. As you can see, your captain doesn't want them. Athletic pudding is the best pudding. I'm trying to determine which kind of pudding it is. Whether it's... Like, the bread kind, or the squishy kind. The other squishy kind. The gelatin sort. Uh, I prepared this just for him, and I'd really like to see how his body will react to it. Don't experiment on students. Okosan said he doesn't want it. It smells weird. Have Melissa drink it instead. Um. I'll drink it. Whatever. Anything to make the doctor get lost. Gulp, gulp. No, what are you doing? That's not for humans. Okosan knew he could trust you, Melissa. You are his greatest ally. Yuck, what was in that? Oh, wisdom increased by ten. Hmm, an interesting reaction. Thank you, this has been most informative. I'm not sure why, but I think it may be smarter? Race you to the other end of the field, Okasan. Cool. Which brings us to our main topic, the observational reports on the human representative at St. Pigeonation. Oh, okay. Pudding cup, leaning more towards flan. Sounds tasty. As you can see, while she was meant to act as a goodwill ambassador, she fails to display sufficient intimacy with the birds. We of the Hawk Party cannot overlook this situation. These reports only confirm what we already knew of human nature. We will execute the termination sequence. Adjourned. Coffee, anyone? Yo. What is this world? Hmm, I love watching the stars at night. I can feel the excitement bubbling up from light years away. Yodele hee hoo. Huh? I think I just heard something. Who's there? Ninjas? You don't need to know. It'll all be over in two seconds. Eek! Ah! Goods. Caramel candy. Ladder. iPhone 4S. Halberd. It is a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. Oh, the achievement. A sad thing. Or, it's a sad thing. So... I didn't focus enough, I'm guessing? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that is a sad ending. Uh, so in the Hawk party meeting, they said I did not- I was not sufficiently close to any birds. And it revealed something about human nat uh, human nature. So, they decided to terminate me. Hmm, alright. So yeah, I guess I talked to too many people around instead of, like, focusing down on a specific person. It's tempting to, like, do a f another fast playthrough? Not sure that's interesting on stream, though. Okay. Hmm. Well. I guess I'll call it here with a sad ending? That's a bummer. Hmm. There is a skip button. Alright. Um, 
Now I need a birdie name. A birdie first name. It's on you, Greg, to come up with something. I like the aviary last name. But... Adorable. Yes. Yes, we'll do human portraits this time. Wow, okay, this just... Hold on, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wow. That did not do what I expected. Is it... Is it a toggle? So, is it going to go forward until the next stopping point, or is it, is it actually a toggle? I'm very intrigued to see what their uh, portrait is. Alright, come on. That's, that's perfect. Alright. Yo. I guess it's to the next break. Morning dove. Okay. So... Do, 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 do. Oh. Just the cutest. Okay. So, we'll stop at decisions. You're not a brother, not a brother. Ah! Okay. This is... Ah. <laughs> okay. Should go and see if he's still there. Creepy doctor. Let's see what the creepy doctor looks like. I hope they have an appropriate... Uh, Creepy face. That is not that works. Good color scheme matchup. I like it. Ninja Doctor. Uh, ah, Paul. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Council. Okay. So, I think. So, I feel like I need to pick now and just like be consistent with whoever I pick or with whatever like activity, etc., I pick. Um. Okay. Let's go to library staff. Hang out with the sad sack. A 
pretend. Let's do math class. Teacher dozed off as usual, but class was somehow good anyway. I feel smarter already. Wisdom level. My stats are still shit. The stats in this game are strange. I'm on reception duty today. Better hurry. Boring as usual. The library here doesn't seem very popular. Not enough books? It's on the fifth floor, though, so at least the view is nice. Sitting here twiddling my thumbs is bad for me. I wish someone would come ask me something. Just waiting. <laughs> There's no birdie here. I wonder if it would be okay to close early. Ah, I wish I could just spread my wings and fly away. Planning to jump off the building? The, will the window there is rather good for that, Miss Receptionist. Nageki? When did you... I've been here all along. I never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. You're thinking I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already know that. You certainly seem to like this place. Yes, is that a problem? Um... No, books are nice. They are. Why don't you join the library staff, Nageki? You could read whatever you want. I already read whatever I want. Touché. You shouldn't slack off, Miss Receptionist. And with that, he takes a book and is gone between the stacks. What a strange bird. Ah, uh, sitting at home is so relaxing. Oh. Tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Alright. We stop for a break on the hillside. Who should I talk to? Well. We'll talk to Okasan. I wonder where Okasan went. I haven't seen him since we stopped here. It's not here. The pudding is not here. Ah. It's missing? Did you bring it to eat for lunch? No, Okasan believed that powerful pudding could be found on hikes. Is there a kind of pudding that lives in the mountains? Okasan will now search elsewhere for the pudding. And he's gone. What kind of pudding is he looking for, anyway? Today is an elective day. What should I do? Let's... Hmm. Let's go to math class again. I'm not sure if stats have any effect at all on dating options, but... Or quote-unquote dating options. I'm not getting this at all. Alright, so... Skip that. I've leveled. Uh, let's see. Er, I imagine you're all aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? Hmm, so it's always been in May. Let's skip this. Today's the Sports Festival. What should I do? Obviously, I should go to the library. Poor neighbor's dog. May is pr practically summer already. It's too hot. I think I'll rest in the library. Ah, much better. It's nice that the AC is on, but do we really need it? No birdies in here today. It's not on. <laughs> it's you, Nageki. Who the hell else was it gonna be? It's you, Miss Aviary. Whoa, he called me by my name. They don't turn the air conditioning on until June. It just feels cold compared to outside. Oh, is that it? It'd be a little strange to start spending money to cool a barely used library in May. Anyway, aren't you going to participate in the festival, Nageki? Aren't you? Beep. I don't like it outside, so I stay in here. That's all. Hmm, I see. <laughs> Why are you sitting next to me? Do you mind? Not really. Um, listen, our class president got duped into being a cheerleader, and... Sorry. No. Keep going. And so I spent the day telling him about the festival and whatnot while he read. 
I don't know how much he was listening to me, but he didn't seem to mind, I think. Ah, first barrier. Alright. Midterms are shenanigans. Today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. Go to the... Store infirmary cafeteria. It's a cafeteria before. Let's go to the store. I don't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. I've never really looked around there before. What is this world that you've not looked around the store? Wow, they have all sorts of things for sale. Though these nest building materials look like what you'd find in a human store's trash. My, how mature of you, mon ami. Planning to settle down already? Yuya. No, that's not it. I'm still a high school student. That may be so, but you know we doves reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. They do? That seems a little hasty. That aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? Your love, of course. My, I... That's... we're not... I'm not good enough? Oh, well, I'll have to try again later. Is this how he talks to every girl he meets? I think that's a little rude. What is? That sort of loose talk. Like I'm a game or something. You know, that's the first time a girl's ever said that to me. I'm surprised. Thank you, Monami. I'll carry this warning in my pigeon heart forever. Adieu. game is super weird. Attend. You know, I'll just stick with math class. Uh, Alright. Sleepy math class. Today is Tanabata. Probably a bamboo tree. Morning conference. On 10th, we 30 minutes early. Buy another alarm clock. May I wake up on time? Aw, Nanaki. Wednesday is garbage day, remember. Um. Gotta conquer the world by force this time. I wish to crush all opposition that rises before me and rule the world with an iron fist. Oh, hello. Uh. Sad bird. No, thank you. I still have some errands to run. Oh, well, don't stay out too late. Wasn't the Key Mania IIDX public playtest starting today? Maybe I'll stop by the arcade. Today's an elective. Alright, I'll go to music class once. I've been placed in charge of the timpani today. Last time it was the gong. What am I supposed to be? The musical gorilla? Charisma increased by five. We get our finals back today. Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Today's the last day. I need to check all the assigned books before I go home. There will be a lot of students coming in to borrow their summer reading pretty soon. Today's the closing ceremony, so there are even fewer birds here than usual. Am I the only one? Well, that just makes my job easier. You're never the only one. You know you're not the only one. Okay. But I'm probably not alone. I've seen the situation before. Thank goodness. Nageki? No reply. Maybe he's not here. Are you here, Naget? Oh, please be quiet in the library. Hello. You're rather noisy today. Did you want something? Nope. I was just wondering if you were here. Of course. I'm always here. He replies from his corner in a somewhat annoyed tone of voice. Oh, the book he's holding. That's assigned reading this semester. Is it any good? Not really. I'm almost done with it. It forces it safe ethical viewpoint on the reader, like all assigned reading. 
the whole concept is inane. Why force everyone to read the same books? It is pretty boring most of the time. What do you like to read? Huh? You volunteered to work here, so you must like books. I was wondering what to read next. So you want me to recommend something? He nods. What about... Night on the Galactic Railroad, or Orihato. Well, I think I'm going to go with Night on the Galactic Railroad. I liked it. Too stereotypical. Well, shit. Oh, sorry. You've already read it, I imagine. Yes. Though, I liked it too. And so I spent the afternoon working in the library, occasionally exchanging a word with Nageki. Time flows slowly by. This sort of thing is nice, too. It's easy to fall out of practice and get lazy. Did I pick going running? No. Okay. Still cool. Still a big question mark. dear. Super slow driving, etc. Okay. That's a weird encounter. Um, so, got a job. I think I'll keep it this time. Today's my first day. Do the job I was hired for. Don't want to skip this. Don't worry about it, McCall. I've got a few more places to check. Perhaps some other time. I will be here if you are looking for something later on. I'll keep that in mind, sir. Have fun, McCall. Almost opening time. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not about but I'm not about to mess up after taking the job from Ryota. I wonder who the first customer of my life will be. Y'all get a new girl? A human? A... Budrigar? Feels like I'm talking about a politician. Uh, steps in the door. First customer of my life. A young man who doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cafe. I was hoping for somebody... Who would raise a few more flags. Maybe a white peacock. Welcome. Would you like a bath or a meal? Or maybe you'd like Mr. Urushihara. I'll take Kinzaburu. Hey, wait just a minute now. Yes, a perfect delayed reaction. Oh, hello, Rabu. This is Rabu, Miss Macaw, a regular customer. I'm something of an important figure here. See this card? 206 stamps. Amazing. Is he a cafe addict? Hey, what was with what was with that when I came in? I've wanted to provoke that reaction out of someone with a Kansai accent since I was a little girl. Thank you, Mr. Rabu. Thanks to you, my dream has come true and I can die happy. Y'all lost me on the roadside there. Well, that's how it is. McCall, right? That seat there is my private property. Y'all remember that now. A new encounter in the little birdcage. Today is a good day. I shall make some coffee to celebrate. Please sit down, both of you. And so the three of us enjoyed an early afternoon pot of coffee. Wait, aren't I supposed to be working? I stayed out on the town too long, and it's late. On my own, of course. Riding the stormy waves of life alone is what we humans are all about. What the fuck? Hey, human. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, what? 
Suddenly, I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkempt pigeons. You go to say pigeonation, don't you? I bet a rich little girl like you gets a lot of pocket money from daddy, huh? Rich little girl is going to a fancy school. Thinks she's so great. Good. Darn it, I... I can't tell them apart. I can pick Ryota out of a crowd about 80% of the time. But rock doves I've just... But the rock doves I've just met look all the same. Do you have some business with me? If not, go away. Hey, that's not nice. I just noticed the name. Uh, show us some cash first. Cash. They buff up their chests threateningly. Dumb punks. Picking on girls in the park is a good way to get ostracized for life. What? What? You little... They're angry now. My hunter-gatherer instincts can feel a fight coming. Three pigeons on my own. Can I win this? For real having a fight. Slam a thud. The work of a moment. Some birdie flits forward. In the blink of an eye, the doves are knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. Looming majestically over the fallen doves is... A zombie? That was close, Macaw. Are you sure you should be out this late? What the... Who are you? Me? Well, I'm a passing tokoyaki lady. Tokoyaki? Don't screw with us. They're stubborn. Here they come. Ha we're just like in this like fight scene now. We're not gonna take this from a finch and a human. Take this. Yeah. Not done yet, huh? I'll teach you chicks a lesson. Sparrow kick. So cool. Your sparrow kick is super cool, Azami. Don't relax just yet. This is where the real fight starts. Azami fluttering majestically, magnificently, under the glow of the neon lights, and me gleefully punching the daylights out of the punctions. The, the birds must be human size. Fighting back to back. Now that's trust. Days, the local summer. F we can't just like cut from major fight scene in downtown Birdville to oh, it's the local summer festival. Who do I invite? Obviously, I'll invite Nagaki. He needs to get out more. Oh, right. Never mind. Shit. Now that I think about it, I only know him. Let's see. All right, going out's too much trouble. Time sure flies when I'm in here. I prefer to think they're normal sized birds. I kind of prefer that too, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure you can have that. Well, actually, I think if three pigeons came at me, it'd be about that dramatic. See y'all around, Kinzaburu. Oh, hey, McCall. Rabu, finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day, gestures to me on his way out the door. Here, this is your tip. It's the magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. So young men from Osaka can do it too. That's a cultural reference I don't get. See all around. Good day to you, Rabu. I think it's time to close up. Would you care for something, McCall? It won't be as good after sitting overnight. Is there any Tonjiro left? Of course. There you are. Mmm. Tonjiro from a fancy cup is the best. By the way, Mr. Urushihara? Yes. Mr. Rabu comes here every day, right? He does, yes. I wonder what he does. Is he a night security guard or something? A chauffeur, apparently. He's generally out all night. Uh, so this refers to an Osaka tradition of women, starting from high school, all carrying special candy bags. Candy is given out as a small gift, both to friends and strangers. That's pretty cool. He likes to come here to relax before work. A budragar, budragar who works at night? There are those among us parrots who prefer the night. 
The moon is wonderfully calming on clear nights. Rabu is renowned for being is renowned for being a very careful and reliable driver. And here I took him for the type to go wild beneath behind the wheel. Hmm, I haven't met another haven't I met another careful driver recently? Oh no, there's a mystery here. Today is my day as receptionist. There's nobody here as usual. Maybe I should work on the newspaper. Nageki? Yes. Do you have a minute? What is it? Want to write a book review? I'm working on the library newspaper, and there's a corner open, so I thought, can't you write one yourself? I'm always writing them. We never get submissions, so the book reviews are just turning into our personal soapbox. Perhaps it would be better to remove them from the paper. My thoughts exactly. I'd like to see how you'd write one, though. It doesn't have to be very long, either. I'll write one later. Leave the paper there. Yay! Thank you! I think that's everything for the September issue. Whee! One more week until the end of August. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss this place. Thank you for everything, Miss McCaw. It's been a pleasure. Likewise. Thank you for everything, Mr. Urishihara. I think I'll be back here sometime as a customer. Y'all retiring early? Miss McCaw is a student, so and so must return to her studies with the turning of the leaves. I haven't even finished half my summer homework. Aha! <laughs> adorable. Doing the last half in one week? I reckon you'll do just fine. Gonna feel real lonely around here without you, McCall. Least Kenzaboru isn't going any ain't going anywhere. Naturally not. Rabu sips from his cup. I think after working here for a month, I can safely say he accounts for the majority of the cafe's business. Every birdie who comes here probably thinks of it as an oasis in the city. An island of soothing parakeet in the sea of urban life. It's kind of a pity that so few people come in. Oh, welcome. Asami, you came. Can't exactly refuse an invitation from my sweet little protege, now can I? When did I become your protege? Okay, then. Yay, have a seat, please. Uh, Azami, is that you? Oh, no. Her expression suddenly hardens. It feels like the cafe is going to burst. It feels like one of those scenes where the retired cop finally faces down the mob boss just before the bullets start flying. Do you know each other? You might say that. You disappear one day and then turn up sipping tea in a place like this? Left all of us behind, have you? Asami, I... How do you think I felt these past six months? She looks ready to fly at him at any moment. Um, Asami? I don't know what's happened between you two, but Mr. Rabu is a nice man now. He drives cars and gives out candy. Oh my god. Please, forgive him. Stay out of this, kid. It doesn't concern you. What happened, Mr. Rabu? I've never seen her this mad. Since when are you calling yourself Rabu? What? I remember your sexy, rapturous eyes back then. He used to be a living legend, kid. Leader of the toughest bikers around. I can't with this. Back then, there wasn't a bird on the night roads who didn't know the name of Hosokawa Blaster. Carve it into your souls. When we stand together, ain't nobody ain't no birdie gonna hold this back. I'm dying. I can't. I was young then. Every one of us hell's birdies would have followed you to the ends of the earth. And we all knew we would have gotten there without a single traffic violation. Since when do biker gangs obey traffic laws? You don't get it, kid. You're still a rookie. You can ride with the law. When you ride, you ride on the inside. You were pretty famous for your strong ideals. This is Buckwild, y'all. 
Riding with a soul, as wild as any other gang, but never breaking the law. You are my hero. But a hero doesn't run away. And you did. As soon as I confessed to you, you were gone. Done with the gang tales. On to the love story. Asami, I can tell. I've hurt you. I'm sorry. But tension crackles in the air. Only Mr. Urushara, Urushihara remains exactly as he was when it all started, slowly polishing glass behind the counter. I do prefer to play visual novels when I don't have to narrate them out loud. My throat is dying. So Mr. Rabu used to lead a biker gang, and his real fake name is Hosokawa Blaster? This entire situation seems extremely out of place here. Wait, haven't I seen the name Blaster somewhere before? <laughs> Will you listen to me, Azami? It's a little late for that. I feel like I'm gonna get a list of visual novels from you now, Greg. Which, feel free to enter them in chat if you wish, but also just to send them to me. Six months of tea and cake, and you look like Mr. Fava Bean? Mr. F yeah, there's my question. Oh my god. This, it fits so well. Does it? I don't like fat men. All my love for you burned up long ago. Zami subjects Mr. Fava Bean to a harrowing tirade over his new physique. At this rate, Mr. Fava Bean won't be able to get a word in edgewise. Has she really stopped loving Mr. Fava Bean? I should bring up... Hmm. I think the scooter. Sami, so, mean, I don't think you've forgotten Mr. Fava Bean. What's all this, Mika? I think you think about him all the time, even now. What are you talking about, kid? I know it. Your scooter right outside is emblazoned with his name. Silence. I saw it when we first met. Writing his name right on her vehicle like that. She loves him, I'm sure of it. You still like Mr. Fava Bean, right, Azami? Can we stop calling him that? Uh, Makaw, my, my name isn't. I saw it with my own two eyes. And you gave me a ride home and a lecture on traffic laws. You're pretty sharp for a human, kid. She's right. I haven't forgotten you. What a sad story. You left even without saying no, and I'm still chasing your shadow. Asami, I... Trying to sympathize with me? No thanks. I've had enough of that. You threw me away. And there's nothing that can change that. I'm very glad I did the second playthrough. I was like, hmm, I could go have food or play this again. And here we are. All new journeys. No, Azami, listen to me. I never threw you away. I... I didn't know if I could settle down with you. I was an outcast. I was a hero on the night midnight roads, but would I be a good father? Think about it. Any guy will panic a little when the girl he likes confesses like that. Yes, but is this the is the hero of the Midnight Riders really supposed to be that timid? I sat down and I thought I had to go straight. I couldn't have made you happy like that. You. I'm sorry I left you behind. I was planning to come back to you when I'd save money, but that wasn't good either. Maybe this is my destiny, or maybe this is destiny. Like. Billiken said, our souls are being tested even now. Hosokawa Blaster, your eyes look like they did back then. Asami, enough girl talk. Marry me. Of course. What the ever-loving hell. Wait, no, it's not over yet. Stop the crits. This is supposed to be the story of my romance, not theirs. <laughs> Who did that? Who started the ending scene there? Jeez. That was kind of amazing, Mr. Urushihara. Yes, a little excitement here and there is not a bad thing. Such things just make our lives richer. I wonder if my life is richer now. No doubt it is. Well then, a few more hours until we close, Miss McCall. Yes, sir. That was a whole ass journey. 
those who want to see others those who want to be seen the soothing mecca for all such people Torimi Cafe Pogo's Forest uh bird flavored ice cream tea next to chattering birds curry rice to die for is this real this can't be real Greg you have to look up birdcafe.jp please right in the middle of Kobe just a little ways from Osaka it's got to be real if you still haven't had your fill of avian company the zoo is just around the corner what in the hell is happening right now the excellent fantastic Torimi cafe The birds are just waiting here for you as of September 2011 please check the website for more recent information this is the best I shall be waiting here in my birdcage for you Carve it in your soul, kid. Carve it into your soul, kid. Love Blaster. I said the game isn't over yet. I can't with this. I'm dying. Ah, oh, I missed what that achievement was. Let's see. Uh oh, carve it into your soul, kid. Okay. Uh let's see. I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. Overslept. Study in the library. Library should be open now. I think I'll go study. Alright. Uh, are you being bullied? Fall silent. If there's something wrong, I'd like to help. Okasan is indeed always having fun. Second term. ID card. Today's an elective day. My wisdom is 26, my vitality is 810, and my charisma is 10. So, I think I'm going to work on my charisma. Oh no, I forgot my recorder. I still don't know what a hichiriki is, but apparently it is a challenging instrument. Maybe one involving a lot of fingers. Today's a school festival. Maid festival. Ah, nice. Go buy something and hang out with him in the library. A double reeded Japanese flute. Hmm, cool. Yep, doors open, Nageki. Close it, please. I knew you'd be here. The door. It's loud outside. Oh, sorry. You're staying you're staying in here even today? It's almost like this is where you live, says the person living in a cave. A literal cave. Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. You're kind of like a friendly ghost or something. It's reassuring to know you're here. Anyway, I brought you something. You're planning to stay here all day, right? What did... cookies? Yep, the bird watching club was selling bird-shaped cookies. Aren't they cute? Have some. Hmm. Thanks. Hearing him talk makes me very happy, even if it was in a whisper. He even looks a little happier than usual. There's lots of other stuff, too. The third years are doing a play. And one class put together a god-tier haunted house. I was thinking of looking around a little more. Nageki, want to come with me? No. Oh no, he looks angry. I... no thank you. Go ahead if you want. Well, alright. Sorry, I didn't mean to try to drag you out of here. I think you might actually live in here. Now that I think about it, I've never seen him anywhere else. Maybe he comes straight here as soon as he gets to school? Look, you know he lives in there. You live in a cave. Uh, midterms right around the corner. I got too excited. Ah. I'll have to study at... Huh. Where's my history textbook? It's not on my desk. 
Oh, I was reading it in the library during lunch, so maybe it's still there. I'll go look. Sir. Welcome back, Aviary. Where are you going? I think I left something in the library. Do you know if the door's still open? Um, somebody bought the key to the staff room a few minutes ago, so I think it's locked now. I'll go there first, then. Thank you, sir. I was sitting over there. Here it is. Yay! Oh. Somebody's written on the page I left open. The Congress dances, but does not progress. Well, that's funny, but don't write on people's books. Don't leave books lying around with their pages to the four winds. Nageki? What? Why are you... <laughs> why are you so surprised? I hadn't thought you'd still be here. Why not? The door was locked. Don't tell me they locked you in. That would be terrible. It was? I hadn't realized. Well, if it was an accident, then it's all right. Maybe. Geez, you're supposed to make sure that there's no birdie left inside before you lock the door. Anyway, I need to lock the door again. I should... Go home with Nageki. Sure. Hey, Nageki, let's go home together. No, thank you. He didn't even pause to think about it. Where do you live? I'll walk you. I'm fine, really. Don't worry about me. You always get mad when I suggest you go outside. Don't jump to... If I could, I'd... What? Don't worry about it. I'll lock the door, so just leave the key there. He's already reading again. I think I'm annoying him. Ah, my grades aren't looking very good. I need to work harder to recover before finals. And so I sat studying in the library, while one by one the other students filed out to go home. When I look up, I'm alone. Or not. Why? How unusual. I think this is the first time you've sat down next to me. I want to talk to you. You're nothing but surprises today. I'll leave you alone if you're busy. No, talk away. I was shocked when you first came and talked to me, Miss Aviary. He's the only one who didn't ignore me. No one but you has ever talked to me. That's why this is the only place for me. That's that's terrible. Nageki, that's awful. What class are you in? I'll talk to our teacher. I'm not done talking yet. When he is done, he'll never speak again. Sorry, go on. You think I'm being bullied, right? I thought that too. You're not? I don't think so, no. Being bullied might be better than this. Better than this? Then what is he... I'm not sure yet, though. When you talk to me, I, I remember things sometimes. But it's still not enough. I don't understand. What do you mean? Miss Aviary, I think I... I think I'm... Aviary? You're here late. Sir, the school's already starting to close for the night. It's good to study, but working... Working on your own for too long can backfire on you. Lock the door and head home soon, okay? Hey, asshole. Sir, what are you talking about? I'm not a... Huh? Nageki's gone. He was here just a moment ago. Where'd he go? Did he leap out the window and go home ninja style? Is Nageki a ghost? Uh, we get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. Hey, Vieri. Sir? You ranked top of the top of the year this time. Well done. What? She beat you by two points, Shiragani. Oh well. We were just talking about scores out loud. So Kree's glaring daggers at me again. How nostalgic. Anyway, my hard work paid off. Yippee! Closing time already. I don't really have any reason to be here again until the semester starts up. Oh no, it's snowing. It was clear when I left. Crossing the wilderness to get to my house in a blizzard, I'd be risking my life. You're still here? Nageki! A book under his arm, the same as always. I do wonder about last time, but if he wants to talk, then he'll talk to me. 
for now, I won't bring it up. I was about to go home, but... Snow? Mm-hmm. Guess I'll have to wait until it stops. He makes a noise of agreement and sits down next to me with his book. He's been a little distant lately, but maybe he's warming up to me in his own way. What are you reading? Dickens, A Christmas Carol. Oh, it's Christmas Eve today, isn't it? Please keep quiet in the library. Sorry. I completely forgot. I guess this makes it a white Christmas. More like a white-out Christmas, if you ask me. Looks like you're almost finished? Yep, I just got to the part where Tiny Tim dies and Scrooge sees his own grave. That sounds like a depressing story. You haven't read it? Even though you work here? I'm Buddhist, so Christmas stuff has never been... Tim is a boy born weak, who dies young. The protagonist, Scrooge, sees that that will happen and tries to prevent it. Time travel? I thought it was a classic, but it sounds kind of science fiction-y. I can see that. It's not really the focus of the book, though. I'd like to see the future. It'd be nice to be able... It'd be nice being able to avoid getting into trouble. Oh. Okay, Greg. I wouldn't like it. No? The future is what it is. It is what it is, and that's all there is to it. So we enjoyed the present point in time along which we flowed. It's a nice way to spend a Christmas, I think. The sun, its majestic brilliance, sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. It's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm <laughs> so alive to enjoy it. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. There are a lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Macaw. Happy New Year. Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryota? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Oh, it looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Um... Alright. Can I just, like, save randomly? Yes. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna get put down by the hawk party for being a violent person. I did say conquest, though. There you go. Thanks, Ryota. Are you here all day today? Yep, the first day is always busy. Oh, well, I was gonna ask if we wanted to get lunch together, but... Sorry, McCall. Maybe some other time? Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. Hmm. Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, Aviary. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes, unfortunately. I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm, what should I take? This one. Osechi Blessing. Good, you got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, Aviary. Thank you, sir. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. So I survived longer than last run, which is good. What a shocker. <laughs> Already asleep. You're still hibernating. Sir, wake up. Oh. Um, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Wee! Oh, tomorrow's legumen legumentines. Alright. I think I'll buy some beans. Today, legumentines a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening. Here for beans? Yes. Is there a kind you think is particularly good? Fisher's trend is toward those bean medleys for racers. 
But they are qu a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm. That's true, and sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. Could go for some ramen. I think I'll buy... Oh boy, how do I know what a library boy will like? The cat made a weird noise. Um, let's go swollen hemp. I'll take these. Or maybe it's a neighbor's animal. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdy. Almost empty, as always. And, unsurprisingly, the heat doesn't work well here, so the winter cold will stick around well through February. The pervading chill... Sorry, there's an animal saying hello. The pervading chill has earned the library the dubious honor of being one of the school's least popular places in winter. The few students are huddled around the heater, so Nageki should be... There you are. Sitting in a frigid corner, far away, far from the meager effects of the heater, as expected. Please be quiet in the library. Oh, can you somehow forgive my dreadful sin? Brr, it's cold in here. Are you okay, Nageki? I'm fine. Don't mind me, Miss Aviary. Feel free to go sit by the heater if you're cold. Nope, I'm fine. My house doesn't have a heater at all. Anyway, I have something to give you. It's leguminous, you know. Here. For me? Yep, you're supposed to give beans to the most important bird of your life today. Do you want them? Yes. Thank you. He wordlessly accepts the beans and stares at the package as if he doesn't know what to do with it. Maybe he's never gotten Legumentine's beans before? I hope he likes them. Hello, Jackie. Lots of requested books are going to come in today. I have to work through lunch. Ah, sorting all these takes forever. I think I just... I think I just have the encyclopedias to do before I'm done. Huh? There's a note on the help desk counter. Um, Miss Aviary. Be here after the other students have all left. Fujishiro Nageki. It reads like a challenge to a samurai duel. How fitting. I think this is the first time he's approached me. I wonder what it's all about. Nageki, are you here? Nageki? Ver... er... Nageki? Hello, Miss Aviary. You startled me. How long have you been standing there? From the very beginning? Alright, he's a ghost. Uh, Jackie? What the hell? Uh, so what did you need? I want to talk to you, Miss Aviary. Talk with me? Continue our conversation. Okay, cat, you have to go. Please go. We were talking about bullying, I think. Ugh, Jackie, what did you do? Why are you wet? Cats are gross. Ugh. I'm not sure where to start. I've noticed a lot since we last spoke together. Miss Aviary. Hmm? Let's go outside. What? But he hates going outside. Come on. He stands up and I walks over to the door. I follow, agitated. You first. Okay. Why does he want to go out all of a sudden? I should be happy, but... Huh? What's wrong? You said you wanted to come out here. He stands in the doorway, pushing against open air. What are you doing? Mime? Watch. He walks back a little ways into the library, and then... runs forward, crashing into the air. Nageki, what? Hey, 
He bounces off the invisible wall and falls back into the library. That's too good to be a mime act. As I thought, I can't leave. What? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library. After a while, I lose consciousness and wake up here again. And so it repeats. I said I'd come to understand the truth by talking to you, Miss Aviary. You've probably noticed, too, why no one else talks to me. That's because... They can't see you. I'm the only one who can see you? Probably. I forgot why I was here. How I came to be stuck in this place. I've been he alone here for years, with no one to talk to. For years? My sense of time has broken. I cannot feel or remember its passage. I've seen at least five school festivals go by. But then you came. And talked to me. I'd had no partner but myself for so long, and suddenly... You wouldn't leave me alone. As I talked to you, I finally remembered why I can't leave. Oh, it's translucent. I'm not sure if he always was, but... I killed myself in this room. Jesus, hold on. S suicide warning. Yikes. And so here I stay. My clock broke here. Its hands turning meaninglessly, each day the same as the last. Alone. Forever. No one is bullying me, or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. I have no regrets. It was my choice to end my life here, after all. But I think I will miss you, Miss Aviary. If I wasn't like this, I would... I would have liked to talk to you more, for longer. Nageki, I wrap my arms around him. I can feel him, softly. But he's so co but he's cold. At first, sitting here alone was painful, but I grew numb over time. I ceased to feel pain. That feeling that I thought I had lost came back because of you. I'll talk to you enough to make up for everyone else, Nageki. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. No. Why not? As I talked to you, I changed. I didn't notice until just recently. When you told me about the school, I was probably trying to take back the time when I was never able to sp take back the time I was never able to spend here. I never asked you to. But you relentlessly told me everything that was going on here. <laughs> relentlessly. I already feel like I've spent a full year at this school. Also definitely getting more translucent. And now it's over. I think the clock's hands are going to stop soon. Nikeki. His head is right next to mine, but his voice sounds muffled and distant. When I look down, his feet are already disappearing. Nageki, wait. We've... we've never talked like this before. I don't want this to be the last time. Don't cry, Miss Aviary. I'm already long gone. There's no one here to mourn. But... There's just one thing I need to tell you before I go. The thing that I noticed. The secret that stopped my clock. No, no, don't say it, Nageki. I... As I filled up, I grew closer to disappearing. You're the one who made me disappear, Miss Aviary. I can't stop it now. But I still have so many things to tell you. You've already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret... Thank you. I love you. Well, well, didn't I say we had to stop playing sad games?
Well, by the pigeon and for the pigeon. I didn't know he was a ghost. Look. <laughs> Welp. First I lose, and then I lose. Well. <laughs> this has been <laughs> Future Proof Plays. <laughs> uh, we are getting on some sort of rhythm for this again. I think maybe every two weeks, something like that. Um, instead of every week, as we had been doing. So... Uh, keep an eye out, um, either my channel or Gregory Every Weir's channel, um, or us on social media. All the links should be down in the channel page. Um, to follow us on social media to hear about when we're doing this again. Um, you can generally find all our stuff over on futureproofgames.com. And I think that might be it. Thank you all. I feel rusty, but thank you all for uh, spending the afternoon with me playing two weird small indie games. Um, anything else I should mention, Greg? Since I am rusty on this. I think that's probably it, though. Five seconds. No answer yet. Okay, cool. Um, so yes, uh, thanks everybody.